Hi, I'm Craig with Data Video. I'm in Whittier, California today in the Data Video conference room, and I'm prepping for a presentation we plan on shooting tomorrow. I was normally going to use an SE500 HD and be right here to do that switching on the two cameras that I have set up. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be here in the office, so what I am going to do is show you how I can do this remotely using three products. I'm bringing with me the RMC300A, which is a camera controller, my laptop, which is running vMix, and this new product from Data Video called BB1. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome to Tustin, California. I'm in my home office here, and uh, yesterday I just set up my uh, RMC 300A and my laptop, which is running vMix, and I connected the BB1 to my my home modem here. So, and that's it. And I booted up vMix, and there's Rob. He's already in our home office in Whittier. And what I'm going to do is I'm since he can't hear me, I'm just going to call him. He's got an earpiece and I have an earpiece and I can see that Rob's probably going to be picking up here. And uh, there he is, he's picking up in real time. Hello Craig. Hey Rob, how are you? Doing well, how are oh, you? Oh great. Are you ready for the presentation today? I'm good to go. Oh, awesome. Let's, let's get started then. So what I have in Whittier here at our office is I have uh, two PTZ cameras. I have a lav mic going into one of the PTZ cameras and then I also have a BB1 uh, going to a switch and then um, through the internet modem out to the cloud. You're basically just using uh, any, any camera will work or those PTC 140s? What's special about those cameras? So those cameras actually have streaming encoders built into it with SRT. So oh, okay. that's how we're able to send that to the cloud. Okay. And then it's also got audio input, so you can just plug it right in. And I'm using, right on vMix here, I'm using one of those audio uh, feeds as my master audio. So I, Correct. That's, that's what's the, the beauty of this is that I can just feed an audio feed. I have a whole master audio set over there. Just bring that master feed into one of the cameras, and that can be streamed out. Because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually streaming the production. So let's come back on my end here, and I can show you um, that I can switch. Both these camera feeds are coming into my office, so I can just switch. This this one over here on the on the right is my program, and I've got a close up of you now, Rob. And then if I want, if you want to show the presentation, I can pull it back to a second camera shot. So both those cameras are coming in. And what's nice about it is the vMix, the reason why we're using vMix is because it can decode SRT. And so these two cameras that are streaming into SRT, um, I'm decoding them and then I can restream it back out to the DB cloud. And then that's how we're gonna do our presentation, which is awesome. Perfect. So, so Perfect. yeah, and all I had to do is I have a switch here that I plugged everything in. The BB1's connected to my, my modem. And I really could be anywhere. I don't have to be 25 miles away. I could be 2,500 miles away. So exactly. that's what's cool. I, any, any modem or internet connection would work um, with the BB1. So how do those two yep. BB1s, they kind of really are the key to make this work, right? It is really the key to make this work. And really what the BB1s do is take two secure networks and connects their own network in the cloud, a secure network in the cloud. And you can choose up to five devices on either side of those BB1s that then connect to the cloud. Oh, okay. And that's how you create your secure network in the cloud. And that's the important part of this whole remote production is having a secure connection to be able to see my cameras, control my cameras, control my switcher, that type right. of thing all in the cloud. That's a good point. It really didn't show off the RMC 300A yet. And so maybe if you could walk left or right, I can kind of just track you with the camera. So sure. walk to- Actually, what I'll do is I'll show you um, the, how we have the BB1 set okay. up over here. I actually have a preset for that. I'm just gonna select that preset and it's gonna go right to that where, you're, where you are. And I just, it's all through the RMC 300A here at my house. So just to make sure you understand that, I'm moving this camera right now with my joystick up and down, left, right. 
and I can zoom in a little bit over here with the knob on the RMC 300A so you can see a real close up of it. So that's really cool. It's all real time. And that's, that's the beauty of a remote production. You don't want this long delay if you're in the open internet. That's usually the case, but not necessarily with SRT. Anyway, go ahead and show me what you have there, Rob. So this is the BB-1. It is then connected via an ethernet cable to the wall. And then I have another ethernet cable going from here to my switch. And then I have my two cameras going to the switch. So that's just the simple setup with the BB-1 and my switch and my two cameras. That's really cool. Okay, so let's go to uh, back to your other shot here and I'll switch to that. So let me pull back this, sorry, I'm getting my other camera into place and I'm gonna cut yep. to that now. So now that you're in the closer shot, let me kind of frame that up again. I'm saying this all out loud for our audience, but uh, normally I would, you would not really know I'm doing this, but uh, there you go. So I framed you I up just right. And that's, uh, to me, that's just so cool because it, I'm used to doing a lot of live uh, productions, but I've, this is really the first effort I've made doing a remote production because it's always been so difficult to be able to do it in real time. That's been the problem. Rob, I, I, it seems like I keep forgetting that I'm not right there in the room and it's, it's kind of blows my mind that we're actually can do this in real time. I can move the cameras around, switch on the vMix. I got the audio coming. I can stream from this. What are some applications do you see that other customers might want to, to use a remote production like this? Yeah, as you can see, a, a remote production like we're doing today where maybe I'm sitting in uh, Whittier and maybe my video expert is in New York and they just send a, a camera package, a lav package, and a BB-1 all connected to the cloud and they can do uh, remote corporate events. I can see it for conferencing. I can see it for video depositions. Um, I can even see it for uh, church applications as well, not only just for a single site location, but maybe a church that has multiple campuses where maybe they want to send out a couple of cameras and do the remote production from the main campus. So lots and lots of different uh, applications for, for this remote production workflow. There you have it. Data Video now has a remote production solution only from Data Video. Our cloud service, our BB1s are the secret sauce to how to do a remote production. For more information about how to do a remote production like this, please visit our website at datavideo.com. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We plan on making a lot more videos like this on how to do remote productions in different applications. Thanks for watching.